Hi, welcome to another Mac 7 tutorial. This is number 46, Video Looping. People, I am so pleased that the people at Cycling74 who brought you Macs have finally updated some of their um, objects and just made them better. However, it means I have to redo entire instructional videos. I consider it a kind of, uh, what do you call it, job security. Okay. So, <clears throat> going with the idea that there's nothing we can't do in Max, today we are going to create a movie looper, a video looper. So let's just type the letter N and type the main thing we're going to work with today, which is jit.movie, don't stop there, tilde. Now, we're not going to use the tilde part today, but some people who might anticipate extra credit off in the wing somewhere will be able to use some of the aspects of JITmovie, hopefully, for extra credit someday. And the rest of us, in the meantime, are just going to enjoy this new JITmovie object that I love so much. Okay, so... Um, we're going to try to keep things as simple as we can, so I don't want to get a whole bunch of movie lists or anything. We're just going to type a message and say, read, yes, the crash test movie. Let's read that crash test dot mov. And that's going to be our... Um, instruction to JIT movie, and then once we have the uh, crash test JIT movie uh, playing, we are of course going to want to hear it, so I'm just going to put a, type an N again, easy, uh, which one's the output? DAC, easy DAC, there it is, hello easy DAC, and let me stick that, uh, I'll stick it over here and connect left and right to it. And then we will magically know when the movie's playing. Let's just test it and make sure. There it is. You can hear crash test playing. And the beauty of it is that, oh good, it stopped because it just ran through and stopped. Um, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes uh, it's set in loop or palindrome. So I always like to have um, a stop message as well. Besides, you should have all your controls right right up here. So, there you go. Stop. After all, we're in the... Uh, uh, we, we, make, we make user interfaces these days, so we want to have some control over here. So, uh, and what else? We need to see the movie. We need to see it. So, let's put a... Uh, a P window here, and I type that in, JIT, um, da, 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 what did I say, P window, P window, there it is, and that'll be right down here. Remember that when you're sizing this, you can make it any size, but if you hold the shift key, it'll actually keep it in the right, um, the right uh, aspect ratio. So there it is. And then we can connect this, which is the matrix out, to the matrix in. And now, when we read Crash Test Movie, we can't see it. Why? Why? Because we need to punch those frames out, for which we need another object called the metronome. So, whoops, unlocking the patch again. New metro. Let's go for 40 milliseconds, which gives us a frame rate of um, uh, 40 times 25 equals 1,000, and that means 25 frames per second. Don't all the fancy movie players play at 25 frames per second? Better than 24. And then we just need a toggle to make this run, and... Um, I could just type the letter T, but I'm going to do something else. I'm going to highlight the toggle 
I'm going to push the shift key and watch this. Put my little thing up here. I'm going to just push the letter T. Oh my God, it's already connected. I love this, these, these innovations by Max that just keep coming and coming. So here we go. The metronome is a banging away there. Jit movies playing. The sound is coming out. What could be better than all that? Well, if you could loop all this, have you noticed that um, now it just keeps looping? And I suppose that's because it just keeps getting these impulses to play. So let's just um, stop it for a minute. I'm glad that the stop button is there. And um, we're going to do some other things without so much sound on. You know, we can do another thing that you might like, which is in the midst of these. Oh, let's, let, let's try our trick again here. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to push shift. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to hold shift down and type the letter N. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, well, it only, you can only do so much. I'm going to put a live gain in here. I like live gain because it's stereo and it's just easier to work with. So there's the live gain. I'll just put that here. Um, I'm sure there's a way that I could have forced it. And just be careful which ones you hook to here. There's channel one. There's channel two over there. And then likewise, we can hook these up this way. So now, when, a, when our crash test movie is running, we can turn it down so it's not driving as absolutely bananas. And we get a little control over it. Okay, very good. So now it can run in the background. It doesn't bother me at all. Okay, so what else are we going to need to do in order to be able to loop a movie here? Well, we're going... In order to loop it, we're going to be able, we're going to need to be able to select certain points in time in the movie, and tell the movie to go to those points, which means we need to know the length of the movie so that we can find the numbers to tell it. Um, and we're going to have a kind of a, a clever way of doing that that I will relate to you shortly. And so, unlocking our patcher, we're going to type another message up here. Hello message, and it's get duration. Get duration. And instead of having it um, run all the time or anything like that, just when you read the crash test movie, it's going to tell it to get the duration. Hopefully it'll do it in the right order. If it doesn't, we'll, um, we'll put a trigger here, but my guess is it'll probably just work. And then... Um, the information about the movie is going to come out down here. Um, and so, um, there's another thing that needs to happen too, which is every time that the Metro moves to the next frame, we want to know where it is in the movie. So below the Metro, we're going to type another message that says get time. Okay? And if this starts to feel like absolute lunacy and it doesn't make any sense what I'm saying, just hang in there. It never will actually make sense, but you'll end up finishing it and being able to look at it and figuring it out yourself in a much better way. Okay, so there you go. Now, every time Metro hits this, it's saying get time. And when you first read it, it's saying get duration. And that information, the JIT movie tilde object is going to dump out this, which it calls the dump out. Now, so that we can separate what it's telling us, we're going to put a route object here. So type the letter N to get a new object, and then type route or route if you like. Does that mean you're from the East Coast? I don't know. And in the route, type duration, space, time, 
space rate. I'm just going to put the rate in there in case we are playing around later and want to know what the rate is. So now we can, I know I'm a bit of a patch cord segmenter there. I want this up here because I know I need space here. I can feel it. I can feel the need for space developing right here above this window. Okay. So now um, the uh, time will be coming out here. Let's let's just see that it is. Um, and this duration. And uh, you know we're going to run out of space. I'm just going to stick this up here for demonstrational purposes. I'm going to option click on that to make a duplicate. If you don't already know that from watching, and I'm there. So this one, I'll just lock my window so the patch code goes away. You can see it's it's saying get time every 40,000th of a second, and here it is counting through the movie um, in milliseconds, okay? Now we'll hit get duration, and now we know that the movie itself is 2,839 um, milliseconds long, or whatever's long. That's how many whatever's long it is. I'm going to guess it's milliseconds. Okay, so now that we have this information, what are we going to do with it? Well, I like the sort of, um, we've used sliders in the past in some of the other tutorials to um, sort of show the passage of time. So I'm going to make a slider here. Just type new, slider, there it is, hello slider. I'm going to rearrange it to be horizontal. And then I'm going to, I'm going to put it close here for a minute. I want to have it so that it just runs right along the, you know what, I'm going to change that. Um, so that this thing gets out of the way. Uh, this is a command Y situation so that I can, if you hit command Y, it automatically segments the patch cord for you. And now we have our slider that is the same length as the movie. And so that, this is going to be one of the points of the, uh, the in point for our loop. And then we're going to have another one that's going to be the out point down here. So I can just tell you're going to love this. Um, so the first thing coming out of here is going to be the duration. And we're going to take the duration, which we know is 2839, and we're going to make the slider then 2839 units long, which we can do by saying by, by using the prepend object. So and prepend size and that'll tell the slider how long it is so you get this now it's automatic it'll say it'll say oh okay um, now I am uh, that long and so when something moves along these sliders it'll move at the same rate from uh, one end to the other end of the movie. So the length of the movie will also be the width of the movie. Is that too abstract? And then um, coming out of this end, once we tell it these things, that that's their size, and we'll just tell them again now, get duration. Now these things know that they're 2839 long, Wherever we set them in the movie, um, wherever we set them, I forgot a slider. This is going to make more sense. This is going to be beautiful, genius work, people. Okay, one more slider. And it's going to know what size it is, too. So we'll, we'll just connect it up here, but I want to I want to doctor this slider up a little bit. Um, this slider 
is going to be nice and wide like this. And let's call in, I'm going to move it over the movie here. But let's call in the inspector now, which you can either say command one or hit the, hit the little I over here. And let's get rid of the background color just by turning the opacity down. There go. That's fine. I guess we have to get rid of the, the uh, off color. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to make it a um, uh, just a a what is it? The indicator plus. No, we just want an indicator. Is that right? Yes, we just want an indicator. So go up here to the knob shape and just make it an indicator. Otherwise, it covers everything up in your in your um, slider. So. And then we'll take this, we'll make this clear as well. And then we'll go down to the on color and make it, come on, let's make it uh, yellow so we can see it. There we go. Okay. I'm going to click that again just so it goes away. Okay, so now we have another slider. I'm going to lock my patcher for a second. That's going to represent the movement of the movie. And then these are going to represent the in and out points. So is everybody with me on that? So this will be like in, here's the movie going along, going along, going along. Yep, just like that. So here we go. So this thing will need to know what size it is too. I'm unlocking my patcher. It's set for size two, but it needs to know something else so that it can do the progress. I'm gonna push it off to the side there just so I can make sure that I'm watching it. It needs to know what time it is. And for that, this thing is spitting out the, um, the time here, second outlet. And I believe that we can just hook this directly to this um, slider and it'll start running. There we look at that! Just like that! It's almost too easy. So, whoops, we'll move this back over on top of our video. Oh, sweet! I can almost not stand it. So there we go. We've got the slider running. Now what we need to do is be able to tell the movie the loop points. And um, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to get out the old um, a truly object. I think that's how we're going to do it. Um, so we type N A T T. There's a tree, and we'll just hit go, and then we connect this over to no up here to the JIT dot movie dot tilde. Uh, I'm going to just command Y that and put, I guess the people get there is okay. Just move this up, move this over, and lock our pattern. Let's just see here. So, you know, quickly before we do this, um, so we're going to go down here and we're going to click on loop points, and then we're going to, um, oops, unlock it, I, I need to make this big, I, I hate not being able to see what I'm doing, okay? But before we do this, we can learn something from the loop object, uh, the, the a truly, which is, if we want to be able to control the loop, which is to say whether it runs normal, whether it palindromes, or whether it playback limits, I don't even know what that is. So off means it runs straight, normal means it runs normal, and palindrome means it goes back and forth. So we can um, go to palindrome right now, look at that, there it goes back and forth. Okay, so 
uh, let's ignore the third one. We can make a U menu that has these three objects in it um, to control this, which I would like to do. So as long as the output is 0, 1, or 2, and you're just going to love this. Here we go. Unlocking our patcher again. We type N for a new object. We type U menu. Hello, U menu. U menu, U, U, U menu. Um, we command, um, command I or control I, I imagine, if you're on a PC. And we go down here and we find the items, not prefix, items. Here they are. So you don't need to type a number, but you can type uh, normal and then loop and then palin palindrome and then click OK and let's see if we've got them then. Uh, clicking in there, normal, loop, palindrome. So the cool thing is, get out of here, you. There we go. The cool thing, unlocking our patcher again, is that it can put out that word over here, or it can just put out that number over here. If it puts out that number and sends it to JitMovie, it has to be preceded by a word that tells JitMovie what on earth the number means. And that word is here, loop. So keep in mind that if you're trying to do something, you can learn from your Atrui object. If you wanted to tell it what movie file, you can probably, you know, if you want to tell it something, often this is the thing that you need to tell it. Loop. Okay, loop. So here we go. You know, that might not be true all the time, but it, I know it does work with this one. So we're going to make another prepend. Then we're going to say loop. So that means we stick a, pre a loop on the front of whatever message is coming out. So this message will be loop 0 or loop 1 or loop 2. So here we work our way down to the jit.movie object. And let's see if we have succeeded. How about loop, just regular. Yes, it works. Let's try palindrome. Going back and forth. Now, here's the one that I don't know what it's going to do. If we put it on normal and we leave the metro running, it just stops. And that's kind of a beautiful thing sometimes. We'll start it in a little bit. So, going back down to the Atrui. So now we have, we're really getting our controls together here for our super duper looper. And now we have, we're going to change this back to loop points. And what we're going to do is have one of the loop points controlled by this slider and one controlled by this slider. And then we'll feed it into the um, uh, what do you call this thing? The attributes object, attrui, attrui. So to get two numbers in there, and since we know that we'll want them to, no matter which one we change, we want it to send both numbers in all the time. So we're going to type n, we're going to type pak, which is p-a-k, not to be confused with pack, which is p-a-c-k, pak. P A K, and then you can just type zero, space zero, or space zero, space zero, and then we'll put that in there, and then we'll take the output of this one. It's hard to get around here without uh, running into stuff. Oops. There. There we go. And this one can just go around the outside. Uh, 
Oh, I hate when things aren't straight. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. We'll, um, it's funny though, we, we, don't, we don't actually don't know how to turn it back on. We don't have a play button. There, read it again. Duh. But the good thing about that is that um, if we do want to uh, make sure it gets the duration, we'll just hit read, crash, test, move, and it'll start. Well, I got to think about that one for a minute. But, because you can always, well, let's change it to uh, loop and do it. And I'm going to turn it up a little bit so you can, oh, turned up the wrong thing. There we go. So, let's see if our looping stuff works. Oh, we've got the in point, but our out point is much, much bigger. There we go. Woo! Look at that. So we can set this just about anywhere. Right on. So we've got a pretty good looper here. Now, um, I suppose you could, you could, let's see if palindrome works. Look at that. Forward and backward and forward and backward. Hmm. Well, I, 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 so, <laughs> so you can see if you restart the movie, you'd be raced, you'd be raced the loop points. So what we might want to do is uh, have another way to, uh, sound keeps going. Well, these are things that we can attend to in the next movie. So until such a time as we return to make this even better, I think we've learned enough today. So enjoy your loops and you know, patch on. Thanks for watching.